वेलकम टू टुडे सेशन दिस इज श्वेता रॉय योर इंग्लिश मास्टर टीचर एट वेदांतु होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग अमेजिंग एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टुडेस फर्स्ट 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 सेशन ऑन द मेकिंग ऑफ साइंटिस्ट विद मी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एंटायर स्टोरी ऑफ द मेकिंग ऑफ अ साइंटिस्ट राइट सो दिस इज एन अमेजिंग लेसन व्हिच विल एक्चुअली give you some important lessons in your life as well which you all can inculcate and as uh, you can see from the very title uh, once again let me take the pen okay so from the title itself you can see the making of a scientist that means what are the qualities which are required which is going to make you a scientist so in this case it is about a scientist so therefore uh, we are concentrating on scientist but you can definitely replace the word scientist with any other thing which you want to become with any other uh, you know uh, uh, in any other field where you want to excel you can place you can just replace this word scientist right so that means whenever we want to achieve greatness in any field whenever we want to uh, we all aspire to uh, you know uh, we all aspire to have some goal i mean we all have some goal and we all aspire to reach there right so in order to reach there what are the qualities that we require theek okay? hai that is all about uh, uh, today's session that is all that we are going to learn we are definitely going to learn about a very inspirational scientist and we will definitely take few points few inspirational lessons from his life as well so before proceeding with the session first of all i would like to ask you a very simple question have you uh, read about any other scientist so uh, in this session we are going to read about a scientist called uh, enright uh, sorry ebright okay so richard ebright is the name of the scientist so uh, we are going to read about his life and what are the qualities what exactly uh, were the circumstances that helped him in becoming the great personality that we are studying about right so apart from richard ebright if there is any other immensely uh, important personality uh, you know about whom you have read and which have uh, which uh, about about whom you have uh, read and who have inspired you who have who has inspired you who has motivated you right so please do let me know in the comment section and with that we will start with the session today in which we are going to analyze the entire chapter and the next session is going to be about the important thematic concern and the question answers beginning with a quote about success what is success it is not an accident it is hard work perseverance learning studying sacrifice and most of all love of what you are doing or learning to do that is the most important point that we all should keep in mind so if you are passionate about anything in your life then that is more important to achieve success success is not simply you know uh thinking about the fact that i would be reaching there it's not simply thinking or it's not just hard work trying to give your best it is that but it is mixed with definitely how would you give your best only and only if you love if you enjoy doing what you are doing only then it is possible to give your best right so yes it is a combination of hard work perseverance learning studying sacrifice and most importantly your passion so do not kill your passion guys uh, embrace your passion find out your dreams explore about your dreams and in whatever i mean whatever you are interested in wherever your interest lies you should follow that only and only you will then you will become successful in life right so next uh, yes so we will study about richard ebright now richard ebright as i told you he is a very uh, he's an eminent scientist and he received the sirle scholar award and the sering plow award for biochemistry and molecular biology so this is the immensely popular personality the influential personality that we all are going to study about today and we will definitely have some great inspirational lesson from his life right and it was his fascination for butterflies that actually opened the world of science to him and made him become the person that he has become today right so let us see uh, uh, let us first read about the author and then we will see what all uh, what are the factors which contributed together in making him the person that he is today 
So this story is written by Robert W. Peterson. He is an American newspaper writer who later became a freelance author. Right. So now let's have a look at the life story of uh, this uh, inspirational personality, Richard Ebright. Now, Richard H. Ebright, along with his roommate. Now, we will first start with his very first achievement. Okay. So, what was his first achievement? When at the age of 22, he, along with his roommate, had explained the theory on how cells work. Okay. And where was this published? Very, very, very important. Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. And this was the first time that... This magazine was publishing the work of a college student. So, yes, you may be asked this question that uh, you, you may be asked that, uh, you know, uh, which was the first important achievement of what was the first important achievement of Richard Ebright? At the tender age of 22, he was, yes, younger than me as well. So, yes, at the age of 22, he explained the theory on what, on how the cells work along with his roommate. Please uh, remember the name of the pub, uh, paper where his work was published. All right, moving ahead. Now, let us see uh, about, let us learn about his childhood and let's see how we can, what are the factors which we can also inculcate in our lives, right? So, he was uh, staying with his mother who used to call him Richie, okay? And he was a very curious child from his, since his very childhood, okay? So, uh, yes, uh, since his very childhood, we can actually see that he was very observant and his scientific bent of mind was noticeable at a very, from a very, uh, from the very beginning of his life. Because he started collecting butterflies in his childhood when he was just two years old. And he had already collected all the 25 species uh, found near his hometown. So see, from the tender age of two years, he started collecting butterflies. And uh, he, uh, since he, uh, he, he, he lived in Pennsylvania, where he had no uh, friends, his only companion was his mother, with whom he used to play, he used to study, right? So, and he did, did not have uh, any outdoor games, like he did not play any outdoor games at that point of time. There was no, I mean, in Pennsylvania, there was no opportunity, did not give, uh, get an opportunity of playing outdoor games like football, baseball, etc. So how did he pass his time? He used to spend his time by collecting fossils, rocks, butterflies, etc. Right. So from uh, that, that actually is the evident of, uh, evidence of his, that actually gives us the hint of his scientific bent of mind. So question for you guys, question time. What did Richie collect as a child? Quickly do mention this in the chat box below. Just now I have mentioned what all uh, were the items that he collected as a child. Quickly, quickly, quickly do let me know in the comments in the, in the chat box right now. And with that, let us start with the, I mean, let us resume the story. He thought it to be an end of butterfly collection. Until one day what happened now? Again, his mother played a very, very, very important role in his becoming uh, the famous scientist that we are studying about today, right? So what role did his mother play? That is another very important question that could be asked in your papers. Okay, so first of all, it started with the book named The Travels of Monarch X, which his mother had brought what for him now at the end of this this was a turning point in his life why because that opened the world of science for him because at the end of it uh, there was a task given and all the readers were invited to tag butterflies wing okay so uh, monarch butterflies wing so that they could help in the study of butterfly migration right so uh, and and at this point of time his mother not only bought that book for him but he also wrote to the scientist, the famous scientist, Dr. Arquart, who was teaching in the University of Toronto, who was uh, uh, related to this uh, study of butterfly migration, right? Uh, he, she actually wrote to him so that he could help this guy, this, this man, this boy, Richard F. Wright, in tagging the butterflies. So it all started with this book called Mona, the, the Travels of Monarch X. And how did it make, how did it contribute uh, significantly in his, uh, in opening the world of science before him and in his becoming of the uh, talented scientist that we are studying about. So the, then what happened when he first entered the county science fair, county, the word county means province or district, okay? 
so that is the meaning of the word county so he entered the county science fair with a slide of prof issue so he uh, uh, he actually uh, took part or participated in a competition right and uh, what did he do he made a display of prof issue but he lost that competition so he was very upset why because uh, he had lost definitely but he did not give up so again one more quality that one more inspirational quality that we can have apart from the uh, quality of curiosity that we can definitely uh, uh, you know uh, inculcate in our lives we also can inculcate another quality of never to give up so he had this attitude of never giving up that means you can say uh, that he uh, you know yeah so he had he he uh, never he felt that he should not give up and he also tried to analyze what exactly led to his failure instead of just giving up and being sad and depressed what did he do he tried to analyze what exactly was the result of his uh, uh, loss i mean his his not being able to win the competition right so he understood that he needed to do real experiments he understood that those winners th those who were winners they actually performed some real experiments whereas he had just showed a neat display of the prop tissues right question for you what did richie understand after his failure in the science fair so do 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 mention that in the comment section in the in the chat box right now and with that we will proceed with the story and let's see what happened next and did he finally become successful after his initial failure we all have uh, you know we all need to uh, we all have uh, you know we we encounter failures in our life at certain stages of our life right we do encounter failures but it does not mean that if we once fail we will not have the second option we will not participate the next time what is important is participating see if he would not have participated in the competition he would not have got the experience even though he had lost in the uh, competition but he had got the experience and he had also got um, you know uh, uh, he had also got to uh, got to rectify himself and be a better a better scientist and a better you know researcher or whatever it is he actually got a uh, got an opportunity of improving himself in that in that field so the next time when he participated he wrote immediately to dr arquart asking him for ideas and then he remained busy and uh, uh, dr arquart had sent a long list uh, so that he could you know remain busy so you can see how dr arquart was also a major factor major influencer in his life and he also contributed in making uh, him a scientist so yes the making of a scientist there are various factors that in, that that helped this person to become a scientist from a common man then for the long uh, um, for the next year's fair he chose the project of looking at the viral disease so actually this uh, this entire lesson contains a lot of experiments and a lot of awards so i would suggest you to please keep a track of all the experiments and what are the awards that he is receiving for each and every experiment that is very important for you right this is all about the chapter right so next was his experiment on a viral disease that was killing all the monarch butterflies so what did he do that we will see but after a short break so guys in this short break that i'm going to take right now i'll take just 5 to 10 minutes of yours uh, to analyze the problem that you usually face when it comes to online education or uh, education for that matter so what are the problems that you usually face after conducting a survey we actually found out that there are so many doubts which are remaining unattended there are no notes you don't have proper assignment or test even if you have you're not able to solve so revision becomes a big question mark and that is very important revision is very 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 important to to actually make you ready for your exam and to give you that confidence to write your papers uh, to give you the uh, to to actually uh, make you able to give the best right competitive exams that is also a problem for you because you do not have proper guidance for that the, uh, for those exams and then choice of schedule choice of language being the other major issues that you face 
so if you agree with me do comment yes in the chat box right now so these are the major problems that usually the students face and but we have come up with the solution to all your existing problems guys so doubts you are no longer going to face doubts because we have class teachers and master teachers to solve your doubt an entire team of class teacher is only and only for the purpose of your doubt solving guys so in class doubt solving is absolutely possible in our platform and this entire team of class teacher is uh, superb superb super class teachers are actually devoted to uh, catering to your needs or this need which is actually the most important need which i feel right notes being the next important a uh, problem that you face we have ready made notes after each and every session that is going to be given to you assignments also after each and every session we do conduct monthly tests which is going to help you to analyze your overall performance and to show you where you stand so that you can work hard on your uh, you know whatever you feel that you need to revise right so you can work hard on the shortcomings and become successful just like richard m right right and then competitive exams we can also take we are also taking care of various olympiads and other competitive exams choice and all this within your uh, own flexible schedule own choice of language so what are you waiting for guys we also have some wonderful features bonus features like micro courses crash courses and unlimited live classes micro courses is going to take care of your uh, chapter wise course yes so if you feel after getting the performance report i need a second revision in this chapter to fill up this gap we have introduced the micro course so that is going to absolutely be free for you only with one subscription you are going to get everything crash course is going to make you exam ready it is going to help you revise the entire chapter balancing all the six subjects become it becomes essential when it comes to your exams most of the students fail to do so so therefore in our platform we actually help you in maintaining a perfect balance because we are offering you all the six subjects english chemistry maths biology physics social science all the six subjects with all the amazing features 50 plus live courses 200 plus mock test papers only and only with one subscription guys it becomes your one stop solution for all your needs plus the personalized attention which you all want which is not possible in youtube is absolutely absolutely possible in our platform where we are catering to your doubts where we are catering to all your problems and we are basically holding your hand and taking you to the top which you deserve so what you need to do is just visit the link in the description box and pin comment and you will be left with the options of choosing your grade choosing your board checking out the details when you are completely certain of all the details you click on get subscription you will have three types of subscription one month three months and six months i would recommend you for the six month subscription because if you take the six month subscription that is you know a uh, cost effective instead of giving one month i mean if instead of paying each month which uh, you know it's if you see if you calculate each month cost and if you calculate the cost for 6 months you will see that 6 months would be more cost effective and 6 months duration you need for you know a complete systematic and structural preparation with complete revision with complete mock test papers etc etc right so definitely this is the perfect course for you guys and that only at that is also at 9199 for 6 months and using the coupon code swreprro this is the coupon code guys theek hai so this coupon code enables you 20% off guys so what are you waiting for so 20% off can be only 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 uh, availed and this price can be only availed if you apply this coupon code swreprro so do not forget the coupon code guys this is going to give you 20% off do not forget that quickly 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 subscribe and uh, so that we could all see you in our vedantu family very soon and now resuming the lesson where we stopped after that uh, as he was uh, talking about the viral disease right he was researching on the viral disease and he thought that the reason could be beetle so what did he do as a solution he started raising caterpillars in the presence of beetles right and then when he showed this trial at the county science fair this project also won a prize so you can see that he instead of 
you know letting it go instead of breaking down after his failure what did he do he analyzed his shortcomings and with the help of dr arkwar getting the ideas he started working on uh, you know uh, on them one by one and he was successful so that is what we also should uh, develop in ourselves we should never be disheartened with our failures but we should take our failures as challenge and we we actually the yes failure is the pillar to success that is really proven in this case and it will also be proven in your cases as well right so then we, he made an experiment to show that the viceroy butterflies copied monarch butterflies this was the next experiment please do remember the experiments they are very important right and this project also won him which prize first division in zoology department and third overall position in the county science fair please remember the awards and also the uh, experiments then he started his research to uh, to actually uh, find out the purpose of the 12 gold spots on the monarch pupa so why were why does uh, monarch pupa why do monarch pupa have uh, 12 golden spots are they purely ornamental or are um, is there something behind it i mean is there some reason behind it let's see what did he find out he uh, took a chance to work during the summer where at walter reed army institute of research okay at this high school as a high school junior richard ebright continued his advanced experiments at this monarch pupa and finally this year his project won the first place at international science fair so please remember what are the projects and and what are the achievements right and then in the second year he went a step further what was that step he grew cells from monarch's wing in a culture so uh, after he came to know that this is uh, this is a hormone which is required for the development of the butterfly the next year he actually started he he went a step further and he grew cells at from a monarch's wing and then he showed that the cells could only divide if the uh, they were fed by the hormone which were produced by these 12 gold spots right and this project won the first place guys what place first place where for zoology at the international fair and then ebright and another brilliant science student worked together made a device that as i told you that these were responsible of maintain of, of you know uh, releasing a hormone necessary for the growth of the butterfly with the help of sophisticated instruments he got a chance to work for the chemical structure of the hormone and then after after he realized the purpose after he uh, researched on the purpose of those golden uh, you know 12 gold spots he with the help of the sophisticated instrument got a chance to work and he found out the chemical structure of the hormone and one day when he looked at the x ray of that chemical structure he solved one of the biggest puzzles of life what is what is that biggest puzzle how cells blueprints its dna okay so now his along with his roommate who was his roommate james r wong they both of them together wrote a paper that explained this theory so this was actually the eureka moment for him right so now you need to uh now this is the time for you to answer so long i was speaking now this is the time for you to speak up so do mention two of ebright's contributions to the world of science and mind it this is an important question this can be asked in your papers as well So do mention this answer in the chat box right now. Two of Ebright's contributions to the world of science. All right. So now we will see what happened next. So apart from the world of science, now let's see uh, Ebright as a person. How was he as a person? Apart from being a scientist, he was a person with uh, you know an all-round personality. Why? because he had other interests as well he admired he admired his social science teacher social studies teacher mr way harrod and then he was also good at debate public speaking and canoeist he was also a great canoeist he used to win 
for the sake of winning not for the prizes he was he used to win not for the sake of winning or for the prizes but why because he wanted to do the best at whatever he used to do because from the very beginning we can see that he had a uh, scientific bent of mind he had a curious mind he was he was not just um, engrossed in his books he used to do real experiments collect butterflies since the age of 2 right so that is what he had and he wanted he had a keen interest in that right he had a keen passion in whatever he was doing and that helped him in uh, you know doing the best in whatever he did so in order uh, it, that that was something which was very very important that is something which is very very important to do the best it's if you think about winning that then that uh, may not that may not be successful and then you will be disheartened but if you think about giving the best even if you don't win you will enjoy the process as i told you participation is very important fall in love with the process itself uh, and then the results would not matter to you at all the results would come if you actually uh, results would follow if you give the best so as it is also said in gita uh, think of the do not think of the result right think of the work that you do okay so devote yourself completely on the work that you do enjoy the work that you do and the results would automatically follow if you so from the beginning thinking if you start thinking about the results it would lead to anxiety and if you don't get the result then you will be disheartened right so uh, take your failures positively that is what we can see from the life story of richard ebright as well that would definitely lead to success in your in your future right so uh, he was the he had the right amount of curiosity he was a uh, he was a person with a very bright mind and the will to win for the right reasons that is very 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 important you need to be absolutely uh, you need to win for not just the sake of winning but because you want to do the best because you want to give the best right so that is what led to his success that is what led to his uh, him being the scientist so that was all about making of scientist right so these are the qualities which are required in achieving greatness in any field right so the last point that is also very important is about his mother who played a very important and a significant role and who supported him throughout his journey starting from buying him the book it started from buying him the book and she also brought him various you know telescope mounting materials uh, then uh, she used to you know uh, help him and other items also i i'm not remembering what else uh, she used to give but yes telescopes i remember mounting materials i remember and various other she used to satisfy all her curious all his curiosity right and she, they both of them they, he, he, she was the only companion that he had and both of them together learned new things at night right so that is how she was a very strong support system uh, and contributed significantly in making of in his Uh, in 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 his uh, being a scientist right so that is all for today guys and i hope you have enjoyed the session and also inculcated the values and the qualities which is surely going to help you in the long run it's not simply uh, limited to this chapter and just uh, giving the answers to the question but it is related to our lives as well so take it that way and uh, please do mention the answer in the homework of the homework question in the comment section i am waiting to see your answers wonderfully written by you all and yes do not forget to hit the like button if you have enjoyed and if you think that we can really inculcate some important uh, values or uh, we have learned something from you know uh, the life story of this immensely uh, you know uh, inspirational personality then do 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 hit the like button and do share the videos so that you can motivate your friends as well thank you so much and yes before you go do not forget to visit the link in the description box and choose your grade choose your board check out the details i am actually looking forward to you all joining our vedantu family very soon and you can take any of the subscription uh, the most recommended one would be 6 month subscription which is going to give you 
you know, uh, this is uh, going to be cost effective for you. So that is why. And SWRE PRO, this code is going to give you 20% discount. So do not forget to apply the coupon code. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. See you again in the next session.